Hey, bee lovers. Welcome to the best beekeeping podcast around. To be or not to be in the bee yard. Join our two beekeepers, Rebecca and Michelle, as they make beekeeping fun and uncomplicated. Double the beekeeping experience, double the opinions, double the fun. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Good. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. So we just uploaded our first um, podcast. Woo woo. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? It is. It's so exciting. I just am so excited that we get the opportunity to nerd out about bees because I don't... Okay, I'm gonna, not going to lie. I get the chance to nerd out about bees a lot more than most people because I do have a lot of bee friends, but... <laughs> It is kind of cool to have another person. <laughs> My family gets very tired of hearing about bees. So, As Matt was pulling bees out of his um, taillights of his car, he said, you know, every part of our life is inundated with honeybees. <laughs> They're in the taillights of our car. They're in our house. They're in all the windowsills. They're outside flying around. There's beehives. There's honey that, you know. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I have bees everywhere, all over my house. Yes, all yeah. around it. They come and visit. I don't even think about it anymore. I just oh, walk no. through them. The funny part about that is that your husband is actually allergic to bees. Oh, and you know why? He is not only allergic, he is also deathly afraid of them now. <laughs> He does not want to get stung. Oh, there's a bee. Oh, it's chasing me in, in the shop. I got to go in. There's a bee. He comes in. There's a bee following me. But it's true. I don't know what it is. They will follow him. I can walk through tons of them. I can go to the truck when I dump the sugar water out and it's spilled everywhere and they're out there having a feeding fest and I'll pick things out of the back of the truck and they don't bother me. And there's one bee that sees my husband and just makes a bee line for him. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I keep telling him to be positive. I'm like, maybe it's your attitude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We've been watching this show on Discovery that's about a beekeeper, but he keeps telling everybody, you know, Bees don't stink trees, so be the tree. <laughs> I've been telling all my, my workers and Matt all the time, just be the tree and this won't be a problem. <laughs> it's become the word when we're out working. We just look at each other and, you know, someone gets stung or something. We're like, be the tree. <laughs> I do have to say, I came over to your house one, and I went inside to, I was dropping something off, and your husband was propped up at about two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon watching TV yes. and uh, having a good old time and yes. uh, telling him he could not work because the bees were bothering him. And I thought, well, dang, that yes. is an excellent excuse. <laughs> he will not go outside. I, In fact, I have to park the car certain places. The rule is I cannot come back from my hive inspections and put the truck where we park. Oh, right. It has to go out in the field. And I have to walk back to the house. <laughs> now, see, they used to um, chase my son. Matter of fact, I don't know if they still do, but because he's now very similar to that. He's terrified of the bees. He walks in and he's like, oh, my God, there's bees everywhere. Oh, they're chasing me. I can't go in the backyard. I can't work on my car at your house because yeah. you have bees everywhere. And I'm like, I work on my car in the yard. They don't bother me. They don't bother me. I don't know what the deal oh, is. I man truly, pheromones. It's their attitude. <laughs> I think you need to walk out the door and be a little more positive. <laughs> Think that's the deal <laughs> or, or less focus okay maybe you should just ignore them maybe you should just <laughs> calm down buddy <laughs> concentrate on your own stuff oh my gosh <laughs> i do admit i have the worst habit of our house and i i can understand why ken gets frustrated if i need to feed pollen I do it right outside the door. Oh, right, I do too. Right, well, right outside the honey room door. Okay, oh. it's on the side of the house. You have to go over there for a purpose. Right. Okay. But the bees make a bee line around the shop, or they make it through the two shop doors, and they're oh. yes, close the doors. I don't know what to tell you. You don't need two doors. <laughs> oh, it's only 113, and you should swelter in the garage with the doors. He only needs one. Okay. I, you know he, he does a need. In there. He's he needs fine. movable air. He's it's fine. 113. He's fine. <laughs> So, and I'm not moving the pollen. I'm not. Now, I, I will say I do that too. And, you know, Matt is always like, why don't you put the frame of honeycomb with the honey on the front porch? He's like, why <laughs> didn't you put it like, you know. We have that conversation yeah. too. Yeah. He said, why, why are these frames sitting right here by the welder? I don't know. That's where I ended up. <laughs> right. I was I hot and tired like you are. And that's right. where they ended up. Right. Well, it just seems, as Matt says, every flat surface is a gathering place. He said. 
it it's like a known thing if you clean off a table yeah it you come back stuff. in two hours there's stuff on it well no there's bee stuff on it oh well yeah at our house <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've basically shoved Ken out of his shop when we, when we first bought this property. The shop was all his, and I have taken over. Oh, nice. And I need him to go build another shop somewhere else. <laughs> I have plans. I have deadlines. <laughs> Have things to do. I have more. I need more room. <laughs> well, and the other thing that I like to do is, you know, I'm working in the honey house. We're processing honey all, like crazy right now. So I'm working in the honey house and I am throwing all my stuff right. We have a ramp going up to our honey house that Matt built. And I'm just stacking my supers out there. And yeah. Because I'm opening the door and you throw the super out. You go back in, you process them more. You open the door, you, throw, you stack the super right there. Well, yeah. three hours later, you can't walk down the ramp. <laughs> You know, I'm like, oh. I don't know. I'll move them. I do move them. Okay, right. so I do the same thing when I'm doing mine. And they go outside, out by where the pollen is, if I'm feeding pollen. But I will, I'll pick them up and move them. At that point, they will go out on well, the I other do. side of the field. Right. But I'm not going to do it while I'm extracting honey. So, yes, the bees are going to come through the I shop. mean, in two hours, they've they've robbed it out and it's done. Yeah. So I figure by the time I'm done with the honey, the bees are done out yep. here. And off we go. And the next day, it's... And a, they shouldn't really care about you. Right. Focus on something else right <laughs> i mean it's not like you're going in the honey house anyway yeah <laughs> i'm getting any help in here right were you going out there to clean it up i mean did, did i see you with a mop what's going yeah. on oh my gosh so so you have a honey house you have a I'm, honey room yes now is I'm, it carpet no 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 it's concrete oh i was gonna say wow you no. have carpeted no 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 that's no, like no. having a carpeted bathroom no it's 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 commercial <laughs> Okay, because I was like, oh, that seems like one sticky mess. Oh, no, 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 no. You just never went in that room. No, I didn't. No. no. I think I just, just walked in, so walked into the living room. And now that I think about it, no, I do. No, you walked into my main room. That yes. was it. You walked into my house. That okay. was it. I only have one room. <laughs> I, I, I do recall being concrete now. So, okay, anyway, so circle back. Circle back to your honey room. I forgot to tell you my, my cool hack. In the honey house, I'm tired of mopping. It's constant mopping yeah. that I have to do. Constant, constant, constant. Of course, you step on the wax and it gets dirty and then you have all this wax stuck to the floor and I, I'm just tired of Please mopping. Please tell me a hack because I hate it as well. It's it's very frustrating. This is the best. I went and bought a kiddie pool. Ah. You put the kiddie pool in there. Yeah. And then you just, because I was trying to think of ways to like put a tarp down or whatever to put. Oh, no, I tried tarps. I didn't work. Right. Just stack the supers on. Nope, it didn't work. Didn't work. As you're working, it's leaking out. You're walking through all this honey. It's horrible. And of course, tired of that. So, kiddie pool contains it all. You put the supers in, you stack it all up, you take Mm -hmm. it outside. It's easy to carry. Wash it off, and there you go. Love it. Great idea. I tried it today, and I will say it was a phenomenal idea. I cannot lie. I saw it on uh, Facebook. Oh, I was thinking you were. So, oh, yeah, I thought you that up. You were walking through the super store. And <laughs> right. You saw a kitty pool at a moment. <laughs> okay, that probably has happened, but not not on my, my honey house. I was like, okay. I belong to one of those Facebook groups that has the beekeeping hack, so it was on there. It was really good. Oh, okay. But anyway, phenomenal. Yeah, the great idea. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, so now I don't have to mop so much. Nice. Oh. Love it. Yeah, now the second one is how to. To get the bees out. Oh, you know, I'm talking to the wrong person about this. <laughs> I remember now when you process your honey, you pull out each frame and gently guide each. You give each little bee a map to get back, don't you? <laughs> don't make fun of me. <laughs> I use a fume board. Yes. Okay, and I'm very patient with the fume board. So yes. I have three going at one time. Okay. Okay, but I do give them time to get out. But yes, I will then take the frames out and brush the remaining bees that have refused to leave <laughs> due, to the, due to the fumes. Like all the ones that are too stupid to fly away. Yes. <laughs> yes, or stubborn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and yes, I do brush them off. I do. Very few bees come back home with me. Oh, you're going to love this because this is such a... You're like, you're wasting time. No, oh, no It's no. my time. No, I'm no, allowed to waste no. it. No, that's not what I was going to say at all. You are so going to love this because this is a perfect example of you and I sometimes. <laughs> so I'm like, I have my uh, future son-in-law and my daughter and we're, we're getting to every yard. We're getting all the rest of them. We're bringing them back on the trailer. And I'm like, <clears throat> just knock them on the ground, put them on the trailer, the wind will blow them out. By the time we get home, they'll, you know, 
the highway or knock them off, they'll go home, we'll be fine. I'm holding my breath. I am just... Guess who was vacuuming bees in the honey house for three days? <laughs> so what have we learned? Uh, we Rebecca learned, is right. Yes, we did learn on this one. That <laughs> I was like, okay, I mean, my daughter's crying. She's stung. My son-in-law can't see. His eye is swelled up. And the I'm dogs like, are running around. Your goats. Yes. I'm like, <laughs> goats okay. are screaming. I'm like, okay. They're fainting. <laughs> Your like, neighbors are calling right. 311. Right. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this one is actually my fault, guys. The sheriff is showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's oblivious. <laughs> Something going on. Yeah, Matt's asleep. Matt's on the took couch. a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly. This is the exact picture of my life. You just got it in a nutshell. And I'm over there going, okay, this really was my fault. <laughs> But my Can daughter, I fix, should I fix this? Yeah, she's <laughs> vacuuming up bees, crying, they're stinging me. I'm like, shut up. So here's the thing. I look at her and I'm like, I don't understand. We have something like six bee suits. Like, you could put a bee suit on. And va- or at least a veil. Right. I mean, it's air conditioned. Yeah. You know, so uh, we're processing honey, slapping honey Your everywhere. Your honey room is air conditioned? Oh, yes, it is. What? Oh, no. Mine has no AC in it. Well, I've seen what you set your AC at, so it doesn't really matter. (laughs) (laughs) Look, the minute you pay my electric bill, you can tell me what set that at. Okay? Same thing with me driving 55 miles in the right-hand lane. I will go 55 miles an hour, and you cannot complain about it. As long as you're in the right lane. Until you start paying my gas bill. As long as you're in the right no, lane, I'm fine. they get all over me. They're all over me, honking and going around me. And I'm like, they, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm on the freaking right-hand lane. That's right, going to the left and lane. And you're not paying my gas bill. The left lane is for people who have ticket money. <laughs> I or choose gas not money. to have ticket money. Or I, gas money. I choose to go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And not have to visit the courthouse. <laughs> there you go. So I have an AC in my honey house. Wow. Look at you. Fancy dancing. I know. And I was in there making honey straws and I was sweating. Oh, was geez. Like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, I have a whole. But the honey just flows. The now, honey flows when the AC is not on. I will tell you that, that I have thought about I should just turn it off to get this, you know, as I bottle it. Or, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, so what does that say? Rebecca was right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rebecca, you could be right. <laughs> Maybe today you were right. <laughs> It, it was sort of a little traumatic for everybody. I mean, my son-in-law had to call in the next day because, you know, his eyes won't shut. I'm, Tori's used to it. She's used to going around with me. and No, nobody wants to get in the car with me. I'm like, okay, I've got six yards to go visit. Who's who's headed out there with me? Silence. Right. No, no, no. no. I've got this to do. I've got this. You know what Ken's excuse was the other day? Yeah. He had to go take the trash. <laughs> And it, no, and, and, and I, I'll give him credit. It was not down to the end of the driveway. Okay, because you've mm-hmm. seen my driveway. Yeah. It's pretty long. Yeah. Okay. And it wasn't to the end of the driveway. No. He decided the day that I had to go do those hive inspections, he was going to go take the bulk trash in. Oh, see? Yeah. yeah. Down the, to the county precinct. Yeah. The other day, Matt got his car inspected. It was, instead of, uh, help. I was like, um, so I'm going to be out here processing 27 supers. He's like, I think I'll get my car inspected. Yeah. <laughs> You do that, buddy. You get the front end aligned. <laughs> right. You know, and of course, he had to call me seven times. Do you have our ID cards? The ID card I have is expired. <laughs> <laughs> See, I found the trick. I pay my people. I do pay my daughter. Oh, I don't pay. Well, there you go. That's why nobody's getting in the car with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, mine get in the car, but they complain. No, 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 no. Because I, I pay for so many other things. Oh. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. I'm not going down that road. Now, my uh-uh. son-in-law is a trooper. <laughs> Their and freaking he's... dogs get bark boxes from me. Oh, my gosh. You're kidding. Yeah. I have monthly subscriptions for them. They can come do these with me. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. I'll give you that Those one. things are expensive. See, my son-in-law, future son-in-law is getting married soon. So, trying to get all the money he can. So, he can... Uh, totally understand. We'll get yeah. a second job. Exactly. Exactly. So, he is. He's working for me. He's very helpful. He's very strong Good. and young and he lifts things. And I probably should take this into consideration because you hear me saying I'm working by myself and I have to do it all myself. Yes. Yes, I probably do need someone. <laughs> I 
no, no, I don't want to spend the money on it. It's so funny. Yeah, my daughter is in her 20s, so she's working with me. She wants to get a little extra money. She's moving into a new apartment. And so she's working, and of course, all of a sudden, she's like, I'm going to stick my feet. <laughs> then all of a sudden, she goes, I, I got to go. I have to go to the bathroom. And I said, wait a minute. Because when they were kids, and I'd take them outside, and I'd be like, we have to mow the lawn, we have to weedy, we have to, you know, do all that. All of a sudden, they had a stomach ache. Oh, they were gone. Yeah. I'm like, where are you? <laughs> you know? And I'd go in the house, and they're sitting there watching TV. I'm like, what are you doing? They're like, well, I had to go to the bathroom. What? <laughs> I, I, I get that part, but it's the sitting on the couch watching TV part of going to the bathroom that Did I'm the toilet confused get moved? on. Right. I'm like, Is it attached to the yeah. couch? So she's now? like, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm like, I've heard this story before. I said, you need to get your business done and come back. Oh, I do that. And I'm like, yeah. So now I wait at the door. Oh. I'm like, I was waiting on you. <laughs> oh my God. Are you a bathroom stalker? Yes. The excuse is not there anymore. I, don't blame me for a fool. Yes, okay. <laughs> no, I waited. Now we still need, we've right. got work to do. <laughs> yeah, now, we're, now we're, see, we're both behind now. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was funny when I heard her say that. Oh, anyway, we really were talking about how our podcast went up. Oh, I totally forgot. I know. I was like, <laughs> where did that go? Super fun. I'm excited. Super excited. Yeah, it's fun. This is a nice endeavor. I don't know. I just am a little nervous. Yeah. And yeah. A little excited. Yeah. And yeah. I have this great thing that works for me. I expect nothing. And when something happens, I'm <laughs> always pleasantly surprised. Okay, I'll work on that because I... <laughs> Obviously, I think of it a little differently. <laughs> well, here's what happens. is So I keep crying, okay? And the reason I keep crying is because we're doing things and our business is growing and expanding and being successful, and I cry. And Matt's like, why are you crying? And I'm like, well, because I expected to fail. I fully expected to fail, so I am not prepared to be successful in any way, shape, or form. Ah. And so at every milestone... So you're saying I should lower my expectations? No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just telling you what works for me. Or are you telling me. me I should cry? I don't know well, which one. That works for me as well. <laughs> and buy lottery tickets. <laughs> I'm just telling you that, that this is this is this is how it works for me for the most part. So I'm really good when it fails. It's when I succeed or or things go well that I break down. Which I'm not sure. So which have is you better. broken down with our first podcast? No. Oh. <laughs> So we haven't succeeded. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't uh, fallen apart yet. So I guess that'll happen. Oh my gosh! The first time I went viral on um, social media, I was uh, texting my kids at like seven o'clock in the morning, and they're like, "We don't care." <laughs> like, oh, I'm so excited! This is so awesome! Can you believe that? And I'm crying, and they're like, "We don't care." <laughs> Click. You're a mom. I know. I, I know. care. We don't care. <laughs> My son has started this new thing where um, whenever we go somewhere and we meet them there, when I walk up, he starts yelling at me, oh my God, is that the famous Michelle? And I'm like, stop. We went on vacation. He had all my family doing it. Every time I walked into a building, a whole group of people would turn around and went, oh my gosh, is that Michelle Burris or Percy Bees, the famous TikTok star? And I'm like, oh. And then they started critiquing my, my reaction to them. You know, we tried to get her to sign a piece of paper, and she went, she's not a very good TikTok star. And I'm like, oh, my God, sing. You should have went out and bought a stamp. Oh, I should have. <laughs> Click. Stamp, stamp. Right. Oh, my gosh. I mean, he did it to me in the movie theater the other day. I walked into the movie theater, and they were all sitting, already sitting down. And he said, oh, like, shut up. That is so cute. I love that. Your family loves you. <laughs> my family would never do that. <laughs> my, just, my family is very like, what out there. You do? It's something with bees. And you wear some white suit and sweat a lot. And you look really bad all the time. <laughs> you look like you're red and like you're going to pass out. And right. Like we should call 911 right. all the time. And <laughs> right. And the bees are following you and we get stung. Right. What, what is the deal? <laughs> right. Or my favorite is, oh, well, beekeeping really isn't hard work. <laughs> Yeah, explain that to a new beekeeper. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, how do, how do you do that? How do you not break the excitement of a new beekeeper? It, that is one of the hardest things. How do you explain that to them? Yes, you should be excited, but this is really hard work. Right. <laughs> You're about to find out how hard it is. Right. You're yes, going to look box, like me in That box here. really weighs 50 pounds, and I need you to lift it right now. <laughs> 
you know, I think it's like childbirth. Nobody mentions it. You know, your first honey comes in and you're so excited. It's like your baby. Then then what do you do when you take them out there for their first hive inspection and you crack open that first box or you let them do it? Because that's what I do. I bring them all out and I'm like, grab a hive, Mm -hmm. grab a hive and, and go to town. What happens when they get discouraged and they can't lift that box? Oh, I don't know. I haven't. It's happened. I have people quit after that day. I know. It's so sad. Oh, I know. So what do you do? Do you warn them beforehand? Do you let them experience it out there? Yeah, I I think you have to let them experience it. I've had some young people who wanted to be with Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts or whatever, and they want to do a project and almost pass out from the bees flying around. Or freak out. I've had people freak out and just run. Yeah. If I can't lift the lid and you, you know, just standing there, you... I have to worry about you because I can't watch what I'm doing because I'm, are you passing out? Why, (laughs) why are you swaying? (laughs) Don't do that. I feel like, I feel like when I take people out there, I have 10 minutes of warnings. Oh, right. Like if you feel this, if you do this, just walk away. Oh, you know what my favorite warning is? Go back to the house. Ken is up there. He'll get you in the house. (laughs) You know what my favorite warning is? If a bee gets inside of your veil, do not Take off your bee suit. (laughs) Okay, my favorite warning is if the manufacturer has put Velcro on your outfit, there is a reason. (laughs) You probably need to make sure it's all stuck together. You you need to make sure it's hooked. There's a reason it's there. (laughs) There's a reason it's there. I think you just have to experience it. I mean, there's nothing to the sound of the bees when they're sort of agitated, oh, yeah. the, the noise, the amount yeah. the of amount bees. of bees. That's so overwhelming to a new beekeeper. Yeah. And it, it's intimidating. But really see, it's intimidating. exciting to me or, or non-existent to me. I don't even think about it anymore. Oh, man, I'm thrilled when I pop that and there's a billion bees. I'm like, this hive is healthy. Oh, no, no. I just meant running oh, in around the like air. that. Yeah, oh. like that sound. Because, oh, yeah. you know, when you, you get a grumpy hive. Right. And I'm not one of those people that when I have a grumpy hive that I'm going to go out and immediately kill the queen. No. I keep it. I see what's happening. Right. I work it. Right. And I still open the top and I still inspect it and knowing that they're going to come out and visit me. And sometimes it's so loud that I can't hear the music. Sure. I have a radio out there with me. I can't hear the music. Right. When I have to scrape them off my (laughs) veil because I can't see, then mine is like six times. Like on the sixth time, I'm like, man, maybe we should do something about these bees. Although my nasty, mean, mean, mean hive, I finally was like, well, that's your whole out yard. You move them to one place. Oh, I have, yeah, I have one out yard yeah. that's, that's nasty. But this yeah. was one hive in a local yard. Oh, okay. It was way in the corner. And, share the uh, love. Yeah, share the love. And it just for some reason, this hive had just been, I mean, oh, you walked out there. It was like, oh, it's a beating. We got to do that one last. It's going to rawr, come out at us. I went out there the other day and I'm like, well, first of all, this is, the population's kind of way down. So I'm like, okay, I really need to check, see what's going on in here. And I was like, maybe this hive is on the decline. They requeened themselves. <laughs> They'd have enough of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> they had a whole different attitude. I saw you tons of eggs. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> oh, I knew if I waited long now, enough, y'all now, would. Now, <laughs> someone more experienced would say, you know what? You could have done that yourself. Oh, right. They could do it themselves. Right. I, I could have. And that's why I said, I was like, I kept telling Matt, oh, we really need to get in there. You know, the problem is I don't want to have to fight 40,000 angry bees to find one. Because that's always the way it is. Those big hives, they're big, they're yeah. mean, they're cranky. There's bees everywhere. There's four boxes you have to go through to find the queen. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to find her. Okay. We've had this discussion. <laughs> I would go and find her if I needed to. Yeah. If I needed to. I don't mind working grumpy hives. It yeah. doesn't bother me. So, I, but I think the conversation with that would be is, or the conflict in the bee community would be, why do you have a grumpy hive? Yeah. You should requeen that and have a calm hive. There's, Everything should be calm and it, you should be able to walk through your apiary and be fine. You cannot walk through mine without a suit. Right. Because I cannot guarantee that you're going to be okay. Right. And I don't know. I don't work that way. There's a guy down south that likes grumpy bees. Very productive. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And he's so. fine with it. Uh, again, I have a I have a grumpy yard. There's grumpy and then there's oh, out sure. of control. Sure, I agree. Yeah. And this one wasn't really out of control. They were just, they didn't bother the cows. They didn't bother anybody around. Just when we opened the hive and started yeah. messing with them. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll give you that one. Yeah. We don't really like you. And we would mow that one if we got close. Some people are more comfortable having us mow close to the hives. I was talking to a new beekeeper. Well, he's not a new beekeeper. He's one of our new 
people that have uh, bee yards. And uh, he said, I think I'm down a hive. I, I, wasn't I supposed to have so many hives? And I said, well, uh, one of them left or whatever the queen failed. And so I took one of the boxes and I put it on our strong ones to uh-huh. get myself ready for sp- spring split. And he said, oh, okay. And he said, my son went out and he said, my son's terrified. And I said, wow, because when I go out there, someone is mowing right up to him. And he goes, oh, that's me. He goes, I just power down and whoa, fly by him. Good on you, buddy. <laughs> Okay, they can fly as fast as you, but awesome. Right. Well, they're (laughs) really nice bees, so he was fine. It's a big pasture. He just, whoa. (laughs) Some people, yeah, some people we come in and we do it for them. We'll, you know, mow around it and Mm -hmm. bring in. Of course, Matt loves that, too. He's, did I tell you he's letting me drive the tractor, the lawn tractor? See, he was keeping the key on his key ring and everywhere he went. So he, so I could never (laughs) drive a lawn tractor unless he was home. What are you talking about a lawn tractor? What is that? Like a lawnmower. Like you a riding drive. lawnmower. You can't, you're not allowed to be on the riding lawnmower? Well, we had rules. Like a little John Deere? Stop. <laughs> really? I am a fan of the tractors. And but I, that's not a tractor. Uh, that's lawnmower. Listen, I really want a tractor. We do, We have half an I acre. I have a tractor. Matt says I can't have a tractor in half an acre. You don't need one. Hey. <laughs> You so, can't you can't turn it around. Hey, it's you, fine. You don't have enough room. I could sit on it in the backyard. <laughs> turn it on. <laughs> so he got up. We hey, got a you need, if, if you've got a tractor fetish, you can come over and turn mine on. <laughs> you can you can start mine and sit on it. <laughs> Thank you. So he got a lawn tractor. Well, okay, hold on. I've <laughs> never heard this before. What is a lawn tractor? It's a riding lawnmower. Okay, why do you call it a lawn because tractor? Because it's a tractor. No, it's not. It's a lawnmower. No, no. I I swear, if you Google it, it's like tractor supply. It's a lawn tractor. It's a lawnmower. Okay, anyway. it's a riding lawnmower. <laughs> you are taking the helium out of my balloon right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> anyway, from now on, we're just going to call it my tractor. Oh, my God. Okay, gosh. so. Okay, your little lawnmower. <laughs> so then we bought. That we all have. Hey, so then we, we bought our, our tractor, but he had the key on his key ring. Oh, so you have a tractor and you have a lawnmower. No. <laughs> it's I'm the so confused. Thing. I really am confused. It's the lawn tractor. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's my tractor. It's the where lawn did you tractor. Buy it? Tell me where you bought it. Um, tractor Supply. See, it's in the name. Was it sitting in the front? Yes. Okay, it's a lawnmower. A riding it's in the name. Tractor Supply. They supplied me with a tractor. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so he's been carrying around the key. Okay. Well, then we got a... Um, stop right. <laughs> so then we got a wagon. A yellow metal wagon so that we could carry stuff out to some of our remote bee yards. Okay, so cool. Well, then we, he realized that he could attach the wagon to the lawn tractor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But he still had the key on his key ring. And so when he was not around, I could not. This is so wrong. Stop. I could not pull my my wagon <laughs> Around the front yard. Like I'd like Why to. do you need to pull it? Hey. It's half an acre. <laughs> Hang on. So, <laughs> and you have no bees there. Stop. So, <laughs> so he had the key ring so that when he was home and that something needed to be moved in the only he could do it because or he had control of it because he had the key. So I forced him to take the key off the key ring. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> So you put the little yellow thing on the attachment to the back? You mean the, the wagon? Yeah. Yeah. You put your little wagon on? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are your neighbors stopping by to see if you're okay? <laughs> my goats hang out. Do your goats get if in If I it? stop, they get in it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Is this why you're busy when you ask you? <laughs> When you call and Is I say I'm busy? Is this what you're doing? <laughs> When we're coming up and people are bringing, using the honey house and they're bringing all the supers, we can load them in the wagon and I can just drive them to the backyard. Okay. And then we can unload them. That's really what I've been doing. Okay. No, oh, so you're not really riding around every day no. every, with your coffee. <laughs> no, but I would like to. I'm so confused with what you do with this thing. Tractors, lawnmowers, keys. It's a goat. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just so dead. 
you know, it was, it's been good seeing you. Thanks for coming by. I'm so glad we got a podcast up, and I'm very excited to do more, more bee talk. It's been fun. Uh-huh. All right. I'll see you in the bee yard. I'm going to be the one on the tractor. <laughs> see ya. You've been listening to the To Be or Not To Be podcast. For more information, you can follow Rebecca and Michelle on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at To Be Podcast. Thanks for listening and have a beautiful rest of your week.